ready? Yes. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Oh, fuck! <laughs> Lead and verbal IQ scores. Example one used measured performance IQ scores for three different blood levels. Yeah, we're doing this for Claudia. If we use the same three categories of blood levels with the mean measured verbal IQ score, since I'm reading so well, I think I've had too much lead. When uh, we get the accompanying mini tab display, the data lists the data in all five. Use alpha, you need that part. So then alpha is 0 0.05. Okay, good. Um, test the claim that the three categories of blood had lead levels that were the same. So, we're looking at mu, low, <coughs> low lead is going to be equal to mu, medium lead, which is equal to mu, high lead, and this was our <laughs> null hypothesis. And the alternative, the alternative, to them all being equal, is at least one is different. That ran into my... Is that a colon or a semicolon? Um, colon. colon. <coughs> so, we have our null and all alternative. What now? Does the exposure to lead appear to have an effect on the verbal IQ scores? What number are we looking at? Oh, we're looking at peak value. So what? P is, P is 0.677. Is P smaller than 0 0.05? No, P is greater. Greater. P is greater. So, so what? Therefore, we fail to reject. Oh, that's... <laughs> Thus... <laughs> Um, <laughs> I think that's we. We, we, we. we fail. A tail? Oh, we fail to reject. I would not be a good person on Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> 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 One single letter and you'd be like, sorry, that is wrong. And I've seen those videos. Yeah, <laughs> and now these people see these videos. Probably not Gus, though. <laughs>